fact is it was kind of dusty, it was sitting outside for a bit. So I'm just gonna wash it down now after I've blown it off lightly with uh, the tack cloth. Now I'm gonna wash it. A couple of things I wanna talk about today throughout this video. Might be a long one, but uh, I'm sure it'll be useful for you. And I could be applied in basically anything that you're gonna do. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a quick wash. Notice how I cleaned the paper, all right? You gotta make sure you clean the paper. Now I'm gonna tack everything that way.
I'm going to soften up the edge of the primer with some base. I had some leftover and I just mix a little bit extra black, a little bit extra white, make a darker gray. So I can get rid of this edge right here and we'll have a nice soft edge for my spray gun. All right? Now, notice how I'm gonna spray. I'm not gonna spray this way. I'm gonna spray this way, right? And that's gonna enable us to keep the overspray minimal because we don't wanna put any base over here because there's nothing wrong with the hood. We just want it as a blend. So I'm gonna keep all my color. I'm gonna try to keep it all underneath here, okay? And this goes to, if you're spraying in a million dollar spray booth or if you're spraying in your garage, that's useful right there. You wanna contain your color. Doesn't matter where you're spraying, doesn't matter how you're spraying, you wanna contain it. Okay, here we go. Just looking for that dark, those dark spots where we have gone through. So now we don't have a sharp edge, we have a faded edge. So it's much easier to cover, much more practical, and uh, it's gonna avoid us a lot of problems. We're gonna do the same thing right here, all right? So look at how I'm angling my gun that way. Right, so now we got a nice soft edge. We'll be able to lose that, no problem. We're gonna let that flush off, and then we're gonna tack it really, really well, all right? So we'll be right back. We're gonna tack right up to there. You don't need to go any farther. You wanna just get the overspray off. Basically, that's all you wanna do. So you don't have any uh, little sand piling stuff going on. underneath the body line I want to make sure you're keeping the content down there keeping the base down there and then we're gonna tack all this once that's dry I'm gonna shoot it on a quick little bake the reason why I put it on so heavy is because I put on that first coat of base right just to cover that primer etch now I got a nice substrate on there so now I can put this on a little bit heavier right and I'm probably gonna put two coats of this stuff on then I'll will 
uh, put the pearl on, all right? So we're back in a few minutes. Hello. All right, we're gonna go check the color. Does it look scary? Maybe. Look at that. So one coat, medium wet, and it's basically covered. So actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix a little bit. I'm gonna do the transition coat again. I love transition coats. I suck as a painter, so transition coats help me be a little better. So look at that. So that's why it's so important to have the right ground coat on there because it just makes your life a lot easier. So I'm going to mix a little bit of my, actually I'll just go and show you, all right? Let's go. Okay, mix my pearl. Got some, probably right up to there, okay? This, I, I would always recommend putting more pearl for transition coats than the actual base. This base is a little bit transparent, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go like about 60%. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna double the amount and just a little bit more. And this is basically all there is to the transition coat. I think that's good enough. Okay. And the more you do this, the more you'll be able to gauge it, where you want it to go, okay? I can't tell you a formula because it's always different. That's why if you go on the, on the white pearl playlist, there's a bunch of white pearls. Why? Because they're all different. So every paint job is going to be different. Now, some of the things that you're going to learn, you can apply to all of the paint jobs, right? But, but you have to remember every paint job and it's its own animal right there are certain things that you can control there are certain things you can't all right so i'm trying out this d cups uh i don't mind them i like them i'm just trying them out and see if i like them um let me know if you want to see a review on them i mean i think it'll be cool for for guys to see I think that's good all right So now we're gonna go and we're going to put on this and we're gonna go a little bit far, farther away of uh, where we put our, our, uh, our base, okay? This really well. So here's your thing with gun control. When you tell your gun what to do, it will do what you want it to do, all right? You have to, you're in control here. You want, the, you want to spray within the panel, you want to spray towards the repair like I always tell you guys. And then that's gonna avoid a whole bunch of overspray here, okay? The more gun control you have, the more control you're gonna have over your base and where the overspray goes. I'm spraying with a uh, Matco. Um, if you didn't miss, if you missed the review, I'll put it right now up there in the little eye. Um, it's it's a 0.4, 1.4 tip. Uh, I'm having so much fun with this gun; it's incredible. So I'm having it at 29 psi, and I got the fan. Let's see. So one, two, two and a little bit. 
so from completely wide you go one two and a little bit and then you got the fan right where you want it okay I don't want any of this over here because I'm going to bring the pearl right up to here and use this body line. Stay away from the middle. I'm just gonna cover, I'm just gonna cover the whole thing. This way, if there's any light burn throughs, you will cover them with this. Now obviously it's going to be some overspray on the hood, so after this dries, I'm going to tack it really 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 well. I'm going to blow it off and tack it, and then I'm going to put on my pearl. One thing that you should know when you're doing a tri-coat or any pearl, the, the key is to slow down to speed up, alright? Don't try to do it fast, just slow down and uh, you'll be able to speed up that way, okay? I know it makes no sense, but it makes perfect sense. I'm just gonna blow this dry, put a, one coat of pearl, then I'm gonna give it a bake. You always wanna make sure that you're getting rid of that water, all right? When you're drying, you wanna make sure um, when you can, when it's possible, that you blow one way and then you blow the other way when you're drying, okay? When tack clothing, when you tack, when you're tacking the job, you go one direction. When you're drying, you go both directions. Another thing to, to note, especially when using one of the blowers or any drying device. Now, some guys just blow it, as soon as it goes dull, they touch it and they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. And then, you know, they slam on another coat. So here's the tip, write this down. When you think you're done blow drying the base, keep going. Then when you think you're done after that, keep going, right? That's gonna save you a lot of time, die back, all that kind of junk. So as you can see, the fender's still wet. So that's when these things make such a big difference. Back. Got the pearl ready. Now I'm going to go. Um, so you 
see where it stops, that's where I'm gonna go up to the pearl. Okay, and here I'm gonna go right up to there. And I'm gonna put it on a little heavy because with these Teslas, um, they have a lot of pearl on them. And to prove to you that they have a lot of pearl on them, I actually noticed something um, that if you go and look at a red Tesla, you realize this. The edges, of the Teslas, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell. They're actually a little bit darker than the car. And that's because there's such a buildup of pearl on there. So when you think you've got coverage with the pearls for the Teslas, you gotta apply a little bit more. Trust me. Here we go. gonna give this a quick five minute bake get all that water out of there right I'm gonna put on the second coat a little bit lighter than what I did the first coat but I still want to put it on there I'm just gonna blow it off and tack around it
second coat on, done, I'm gonna blow dry it. Almost done, finally. Alright everybody, we are done here with the base. I'm going to mix up some clear. I'm going to be using EC550. I'm going to let this flash off first because you don't want to put it on with wet base. It's going to create a lot of problems. I'm going to bake this for another five minutes and I'm going to uh, make sure that it's dry before I apply the clear coat. That way nothing goes wrong. Other than me putting runs everywhere. That's a different story though. <laughs>